Like a lot of people in the 60s, I was the first person in my family to attend college, and my parents were products of the Depression. And during World War II, my mother had worked at an aircraft manufacturing facility in Nashville, and she learned that engineers were always in demand and had good jobs. So she told me that I needed to go to college and learn how to be an engineer. So Auburn really opened uh, my eyes to the rest of the world, and uh, it presented opportunities that I obviously hadn't had before. You never know what college is going to lead you to, but if the opportunities are there and you take advantage of them, uh, it's a tremendous impact on your life. 2006, I made a decision to retire, and we decided that Charleston was going to be our new home. And in 2015, there was a terrible tragedy in downtown Charleston where there was a shooting at the Mother Emanuel Church. The community here came together rather than apart. That really formed the, the beginning of some thinking about, we've got something different here in Charleston, and so how can we use it to improve the community? We got our church and the church in the African-American community to come together, and we quickly identified one of the problems was in the elementary school, and we were dealing with something called the summer learning loss the time the kids uh, adjourn from the spring semester until they come back in the fall, they actually slide back in their academic skills. So we developed a program working with the school teachers and the principal to focus on reading and math, um, but there were no funds to support it. So the local community you know, funded it in private contributions, and the program has been very successful and really raised the academic standards in the school. What it really shows you is how important a very solid, fundamental elementary education is to everyone and to our society. Those of us who were fortunate enough to have it maybe don't all appreciate how fortunate we were, but when you see those who don't have it and what that results in, in terms of their lives, it just reinforces that elementary education and secondary education is something that this country has really has to support in a much more significant way. And I think Auburn, through everything it's doing in the area of education is doing a lot. We can make a difference. And, you know, it doesn't take great heroic efforts, but if we can build a better foundation, you know, I know that there's some of those kids that are going to have a better life. Please help me welcome to the stage, Alan Reed. <laughs> well, <clears throat> thank you very much for the opportunity to be here. Uh, there's, uh, I've had the opportunity to have done a lot of things and been a lot of places, and, uh, but you know, I could have, none of these things could have happened if it not, if it weren't for the 
many people who have been part of my life. And of course, I, I have to begin with my parents, neither of whom went to college, but they made sure that I would get the necessary preparation and have the opportunity to get a college degree. Then there are all those friends, and the, quite a few of whom are in this room tonight, who as life took me well beyond my southern roots and kept me connected to Auburn and the South. Yes, I've listened to the Orange Bowl, the Orange Bowl, how did I say that? The, <laughs> the Iron Bowl, I've listened to the Iron Bowl on scratchy radios in Southeast Asia, watched it on televisions in Los Angeles, New York, London, and Tokyo. But most importantly are my wife and my family. My wife, Martha, is from Birmingham <clears throat> and without a question is one of the biggest Auburn fans I've ever known. Because of her, I will always know how Coach Harson and Coach Pearl are doing recruiting future <laughs> Auburn football and basketball players. Unfortunately, she's not able to be here this evening. And I want to thank my two sons, one of whom is here tonight, for giving me the opportunity to be their father, to coach their little league and Pop Warner football teams, and to watch them become husbands and fathers of their families and for giving, giving Martha and me five wonderful grandchildren. But also high on the list, I need to thank Auburn. Auburn gave me opportunities and experiences that, ch that changed my life. When people talk about the Auburn Creed, they almost always quote the phrase, I believe in work, hard work. Well, I was taught at an early age that you never achieve anything worthwhile without working hard for it. That included earning $2 for mowing the neighbor's lawn to unloading a tractor trailer full of 40 pound truck clutches in 95 degree heat in my father's warehouse. <laughs> but Auburn gave me the foundation to go beyond just working hard. People who come to Auburn are good people who come from good families and have good values. But Auburn gives them the potential to go from good to great. And I'm not just talking about those Auburn grads who have become astronauts, become famous actors and authors, CEOs of world leading companies, state governors, uh, university presidents, Olympic gold medal and Heisman Trophy winners, I'm also talking about those Auburn folks who are great leaders in their communities and churches, great teachers and coaches, great doctors and nurses, and most importantly, they're the great mothers and fathers who will develop the next generation of good Auburn students. So when I reflect on my family, my career, and my accomplishments, I can honestly say that it all began at Auburn. Now, this is truly the greatest award I've ever received, and I am sure there are others more deserving, but I am certain there are none that will be more appreciative of what Auburn has meant to their lives. And I have one more thing to say uh, that I didn't really, wasn't really going to comment on until fate sort of presented me with it, but as Many of you might know, I've been involved with the Auburn University Foundation and its investment activities for 20 years. And this week, the Auburn Endowment Fund <coughs> hit $1 billion. So, with that, I'm just going to say War Eagle. Thank you.